Hi, I'm David Hedges and I've been invited to go to Australia with the School Ufology Club and I'm thrilled. I mean, not only do we get to explore a, a really UFO active area, but the whole place will be crawling with wildlife and flora and fauna. I mean, did you know that in Australia they have over 500 eucalyptus species alone? That's incredible, isn't it? Look at this. There's, there's Bloodwood. Oh, oh, and there's Banks here. Oh. Is he for real? Been so... <laughs> Melissa, Melissa, that, if I'm not mistaken, is a scribbly gum or a eucalyptus sclerophylla. That's correct. But what exactly makes those scribbles? <laughs> it's caterpillars eating off the bark bit. That's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> it all misfired. Sarah and Lucy thought they'd have a laugh, but no one was in the mood. You two are pathetic. Well, you know, would you? At least I prepared myself for coming on this trip. What did you do? Read about Aussie Rules football? You're so smart. <laughs> Compared to you, yes. It's just because you fancy Sarah. Sarah, get lost. You're looking for a slap. No, if it makes you feel better, Simon, Pete Brain. Back off, OK? Just please just touch you, David. Come on, let's get some breakfast, then. Give it a wide bit. <laughs> I have a real problem with fire. Well, you know what? If you don't touch them, they don't touch you. <gasps> Leon, don't move! There's a spider in your back! Get it off! Get it off! Get it off! Get it off! Please get it off! Get it off! Please! Leon! I'm joking! <laughs> Not funny, Buffin. <laughs> that was good! <laughs> right, that's it. I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, God! It's freezing! Oh, Harry. Wow! I'm so glad I kept the camera running. I knew that one day you'd make a big splash. OK, OK, look at the compass. Now, the sun's over there, so that's west, and we've been walking south, so that means... This is just an uneducated guess, but I'm pretty sure that is not meant to be doing that. There must be some weird magnetic force affecting it or something. Or, Harry, this could really be evidence of UFO activity in the area. Please don't tell me we're <laughs> lost, David. Tell me anything, but please don't say we're lost. We're not lost. Come on. What was that, David? I'm not sure. A bellbird, I think. David, do you actually have any idea which way we should be going here? Wow. Look at that. What? Look. Up there, Harry. Where? See that strange face in the rock? Do you think that's a sign been carved by some primitive people? David, I'm not sure. Maybe it just looks like a face. Someone's been here before us that was put there for a purpose. David, you're really starting to spook me out. Look, this is the kind of proof that we need. Who's that? Who's there? This isn't funny! You know there's someone there! Well? Mr Simmons thinks that Leon's getting worse. And what do you think? He'll be okay, won't he? From what I've read, no adults ever died from the venom of a red belly. Well, that's okay then. But children have died. Oh, Leon's not very big. Is he classed as a child or an adult? I didn't say. A child could be someone who's under five, or it could be an under 18. You don't know? You just read about some natural cure and decided to use it on Leon. Oh, what do you, you know about, about it? Guys, guys, guys. What do you know about anything fight? other than yourself? I know I haven't yourself. poisoned Leon. I get lost, Simon. Guys, oh, you probably killed him. I said right. get lost. It's enough. It's enough. It's been a long day. We're all tired. So let's just get some sleep, right? Right? Right. Harry, be careful. What? That flower. You almost stood on it. It's just a flower. There are thousands of them out here, David. Not of these. They call it a Hakea ghost. It's very rare. Oh. The Aboriginals believe that the seeds of this flower are carried in the wind for an eternity until they find a special spirit zone. It's really some kind of haunted place. Something like that. Maybe that's why the UFOs are coming here. Maybe. Right, let's just get the water and get back to camp. Harry, stay completely still. What is it? Just do it. Don't move a muscle. Is it poisonous? No. 
It's an Australian black. I suppose she's pretty cool as far as creepy crawlies go. Thanks, Professor. Hey, that's what friends are for, eh? Come on. We shouldn't be out here. Not like this. Some old militia have disappeared, and now the cheap. How can a jeep just vanish? I don't understand it. Any of it. We've spent all night shivering, hungry and soaked through. I just can't take much more. Listen. Perhaps everything's going to be okay. I mean, I've got this far, right? When we got back earlier, I thought Sarah was really glad to see me. I was really fed up before, but now I feel great. We're going to be all right now. I know we are. It was a simple thing to remember. The smoke was vital. I can't believe Shona screwed up her only chance of telling the world we're in jeopardy. If we can't rely on each other, what chance do we have? Everyone listen to me. I think we've got them all wrong. They didn't try to harm me the other night. So why should we jump to the conclusion that they've harmed Melissa? Because they could get closer to Melissa. But who's to say they've harmed her? You are kidding, David, right? You heard her. She was scared. Wouldn't you be scared if you were alone during alien contact? After the initial shock, Melissa probably realised that the beings were being gentle towards her. David, I don't think you're quite yourself. <laughs> what? She's saying you're mad, mate. Don't you dare call me Stop mad! Stop it! Hey, that's enough! Chrissy, you have some nerve questioning our actions. What about what you and Simon did to me in the river? You... You were just selfish and thinking about yourself. David! You should be happy that she's still alive. Don't shout at her like that. If you think we're going to come back and help you now, then forget it. We're not coming back. Well, get out of your own. That's for nothing. Chrissy turned off the radio, not me. And then she did. Is it any wonder? Why can everyone just cool it, please? This is great. I'm the one who gets chucked out of the canoe into the river, gets covered in blood-sucking leeches, and yet I still come out as the bad guy. Put us sucking it for once, David. What? Just give us a break, hey? So they did the dirty on you. Get over it. What are you trying to say? Stop acting like a baby. What did you call me? Not again, you two. Leave him alone, David. Come on. What did you call me? You heard me. You're acting like a baby. You got a problem with it. Leave it, leave it, leave it. David, leave it. Well, I guess that's one off, David. 